Hi everyone, I make Excel and PowerPoint templates to help people get ahead in their career and get the most out of their business. This one we're looking at today is a work breakdown structure. The work breakdown structure is a really wonderful way to take a high level idea and break it down into smaller, more manageable pieces of work and you can keep breaking it down until it, uh, until it gets to the level that someone can actually work on it, either a person or a team, to get it delivered. Let's get into the sheet. The first thing we want to do when we start with a work breakdown structure is start with the high level idea, the overall thing that we're trying to deliver. So we're going to go to shapes and just insert a nice rounded rectangle. And if we insert that, then we can edit this and make sure that it's looking the way that we want. Maybe we'll give it a nice, uh, nice blue background there. And the outline, we can give that a dark, dark blue, maybe an ocean blue. We'll just increase the weight of that outline ever so slightly. And now we have our high level feature. If we right click and edit the text here, then this is our overall feature. And if we select all that text and we can change the color of that just to suit, maybe we'll give that like a nice dark gray as well. If this is our overall item, then we may want to break this into different features that we are delivering. And when we bring this down a level, we might just want to change the color of this ever so slightly, maybe give the outline a bit of a dark gray as well. But this is our particular feature. And for this item as well, if we right click and format shape, let's go to the text options and just reduce the margins ever so slightly. And that way our text won't overlap when we, if we do write extra amounts of text on our boxes. If we copy that, and we can copy that across and select both of those and Control C and Control V, and that will copy even more for us. But each of these will need a number as well. And part of our work breakdown structure is to, to number these items and give them a unique ID. So what we're going to do is insert just a normal text box. And if we put it out here, this will be our first one, our number one. And again, if we want to format this shape, let's just change those text options, reduce those margins again, just in case, so we don't want all of our text overlapping. And we'll bring it all the way down into our feature, and we can reduce the size of that ever so slightly. Then if we select that and combine those two together, hold shift and select both of those. If we right click, we can say group. And now that's grouped together, but we can still change the number value within our feature. And this is going to be important for a reason that we'll see in a second. But first, let's connect these four items together. And one of the best ways to do this, there's two good ways in PowerPoint. One is the curved connector, and we'll use that one here. As you can see, it, can, it, the, it shows where we can connect it to on our boxes. So if we select that point and connect it over to our other point, that curved connector just adjusts on the fly whether we move our items around or not. And if we just check out our outline, make that a little bit, a little bit larger again, and we can change the color of this just to that nice deep blue as well so that it matches. Let's add connectors for all of our other items. And if that particular connector doesn't suit you, there's another type that you can choose. And if we just go to insert and shapes, what we're looking for is the elbow connector. And that one we'll use on our other items. And it just, uh, it, that one does a little elbow bend any time that you need to use it. We'll just change the color of that as well and increase the weight ever so slightly so that it matches our other connectors. Now we want to copy, the next level usually is the, is the work package level or the story card level if you're working in an agile environment. And here's where we want to update the unique ID because we're still in feature one, now we're 1.1 1 .1 because we're one more level down. So these are our subsequent items or our story cards or our work packages. Now, as you can see, it's overlapping our numbers. If we take this slider and just slide it over to the right and we can have the, the next line. So that's for our first line up the top and our next lines down the bottom. And now we can play around with that and make sure that that fits very nicely. Let's color this a little bit of a different color so that we know that we're working with another layer down. And we can take our elbow connector and now we can use that elbow connector and connect up the next layer of our work breakdown structure. And again, you can use either of these particular items. I prefer the, the curved connector just because it looks a little bit nicer, but it depends on what your preference is. Now all we have to do is fill out the rest of the items underneath each of these particular features and the different stories or the different work packages that a team or a person can work on within each of these features. 
and now we can clearly see the work that might be involved to create this overall item, the different features that make up that overall item, and then the work packages that might be involved to do all of that work to create the overall item as well. If you want to increase the canvas size, it's very simple. We simply go to design and slide size and custom slide size, and we can increase the width or the, the height anytime we want. And if we just uh, increase those, then click OK. If we ensure fit, then now we have a much larger canvas to work with and we can select them all and move them wherever we please. Now lastly, what might this look like if we were to use this in the real world? Here is a lovely example that you might see when you're going through your job and it gives you a good idea of what you might expect in the real world as well. I hope you've enjoyed spending the time with me on this work breakdown structure. I've really enjoyed spending the time with you and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.